Hello everybody, welcome to this episode where we're going to talk about six pots versus four pots. I'm going to talk about my experiences with them and I'm going to talk about the problems people have with them and the fours and against and things like that. So stick around and we'll talk all about these calipers. So I think for as long as people have been using these calipers on bikes, there's been an argument whether six pots are better or the four pots are better. And I think the biggest thing is personal opinion. Now, I'd love to hear in the comments what you think about the calipers. Do you prefer the six pots, the four pots? Have you had good or bad experiences with either of them? Or have you got any tricks or tips to help other people with them? It's all about community. So I remember when I first started riding motorcycles, everyone wanted to swap from four pots to six pots because they're better. I did the same and used six pots instead of the four pots. And I really, really liked them. I've had them on a, several different bikes. But over the years, I've sort of gone from six pots back to four pots. And a lot of people seem to be doing the same thing. So, why are people doing this? In my opinion, I think people are going from six pots to four pots because these can be a bit trickier to work on, to maintain, and can cost a little bit more to look after. The problems that people seem to have with the six pots is they seize up, uh, they bind, you get sticky pistons, uh, not all the pistons will be moving sometimes you'll get the middle one on one side and the two outer ones on the other side and things like that and they do seem to need servicing quite regularly now the cost of this can be more expensive than doing a service on the four pots because you've got more pistons and more seals if you needed to replace the pistons and the seals it can cost quite a bit of money and it is that bit cheaper on the four pots if you rebuild both sets of calipers because on this one you got 12 this one's only eight now the issue people normally have is not necessarily the piston or the oil seal or the fluid seal it's normally the dust seal that causes the problems with the pistons binding and not operating properly now i wouldn't recommend anybody do this at home this is only experiences from other people and trying them myself but again this is one of these things that you shouldn't do this at home I'm just telling you about my experiences with the six pot brakes I know some people that do track days only do summer riding and take the brakes off very regularly to clean them they don't actually use the dust seals in the calipers I've known people to do this on six pots and four pots and once they've done this, they've had absolutely no problems with the pistons binding. I've experienced this myself on a set of six pots on a Suzuki TL1000S. And I took the brakes off regularly to clean the brake dust off. I only ever used it in good weather in summer. No salt on the road or anything like that. And I never had a problem. The brakes worked really well. And they never seized up or had any sticky pistons. I've also experienced this with the four pots no dust seals just the oil seals taken off and cleaned regularly and no sticky pistons but again i would not recommend you do this this is not how they've been designed and manufactured this is just an experience i've had the next sort of big thing bleeding brakes obviously it doesn't matter if you're running six or four pots you're going to need to bleed your brakes now i've done many many sets over the years sometimes it goes really really well and other times it doesn't now the biggest problem i've had is six pots these always seem to be harder to bleed than four pots i think it's just the shape of the calipers and how many pistons there are 
and bits and bobs like that but I find the back bleeding method to be the best and there's a, a sort of old trick where once you've bled your brakes up pull your brake lever in put a tie wrap around it overnight and then in the morning it's got rid of all the air that might have been left in there and then they're perfect the four pots are generally a lot easier but again you can use that trick of back bleeding and then tying the lever up overnight to get a really solid lever one of the things that people discuss is the feel of the lever or the feel of their braking some people say they get better feel from four pots and some people say they get better feel from the six pots but this can all be down to the different size of master cylinder that's used so I'm not really going to get involved in that because we're just talking about the calipers now in my experience of using a set of four pots and a set of six pots with the same master cylinder on the same bike I think I prefer the six pots they seem to have a bit more feel do seem to sort of feel like they pull you up better whether this is just in your head that you think they're better because they've got more pistons they've got a greater pad surface area and things like that I'm not really sure but when they're both working right and they're both working how they should I think I do prefer the six pots so like I said at the start of the video let me know your thoughts and comments on six pots versus four pots have you used both or either have you had any problems or have you found any good solutions for them it'd be great to share your knowledge with everyone else and we might even be able to help each other out so I think the biggest thing for six pots versus four pots is sort of back in the day I, don't, I feel sort of a bit weird saying that but you know you'd have say a mark one bandit 1200 that would have four pots on so people wanted to upgrade to the six pots and then you'd have people with tl thousand s's with six pots that wanted to put four pots on and i think part of that is people want to be different as a motorcyclist i imagine you've changed things on your bike or modified it or made it your own not everyone does but quite a lot of people do even if it's just an exhaust or some bar ends or mirrors people like to be different and like to change things and i think that might be why people swap from four pot to six pot and six pot to four pot let me know your thoughts on that as well so i'm going to wrap this video up i didn't want to try and get into the science of it too much because i'm not an expert on that sort of thing and i wouldn't want to preach and it's not right one thing i i think we can take away from this video is there's always going to be the great debate on four pots versus six pots i think while the bikes and the calipers are around there'll always be people for and against either solution so thanks for watching guys i hope it's given you a bit of information about my experiences with the six pots i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you want to subscribe to our channel to watch some of our other videos and get a notification every time there's an upload hit the subscribe button if you've liked this video you might like this video over here or if you want to watch our bandit project there's a video down in the corner so thanks for watching guys and until next time we'll see you later